Welcome to the Outreach Ministry of Jesus Holy Temple Non-Denominational Church, 715 Thomas Street in Monroe, where Apostle Charlie Robinson and Pastor Armagene Robinson brings you the last day's message. And now we're going to one of our pre-recorded services with a word from the Lord just for you. What you're doing, what you have done, and what you're going to do. For all of us that respect you and love you and live according to your word, and then on top of that, love one another. We just thank you and praise you for it now. And as I yield myself to the Holy Ghost, you take these lips of clay and you speak to them. Let the word of knowledge come forth as his earnest be. Let prophecy come forth as the man of God has spoken it. And you get the glory out of it. In the precious love of the name of Jesus. Come on, give the Lord a holy hand clap. Give him a holy hand clap. Give him a holy hand clap. Who woke you up this morning? Jesus. Who started you on your way? Jesus. Who gave you Timothy your limb? Jesus. What is his name? What is his name? Jesus. Jesus. That is a great name. That is an excellent name. You may be seated. You may be seated. You know, as I often say, go call a neighbor, go call a friend. Mothers, please go call your children in and tell them, his, them preachers again, that tells it like it is. Why do I tell it like it is? Why do I tell it like it is? Because... They are doing it like it is. All right, get your Bible, your pen, your pencil, and your paper, and go along with us as we go through the Word of God. Because we know everything is going down but the Word, the Word of God. It takes the Word of God to save you, to heal you, to deliver you, to keep you. It takes the Word of God for everything. Why? Because Matthew 4 and 4, man shall not live by bread alone. But by every word that proceeded out the mouth of God is take the word. I agree with that. All right. Let's go to the book of Proverbs, the 18th chapter, verse 21. Everybody get it? Proverbs, 18th chapter, verse 21. All right, you should have it by now. Verse 21. Death and life are in the power of the it tongue. It says death and life are in the power of the tongue. What in the power of the tongue? Death and life. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Finish it. And they that love it. And they that love it. Shall eat the fruit thereof. Shall eat the fruit thereof. That is a promise. Read that verse over again. Death and life. Say death and life are in the power of the are tongue. Are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You shall eat the fruit thereof. Stop that. Let's elaborate on that verse. It's no good just to read it, and we don't elaborate on it. We don't open it up, because all you be done did is just read it. I agree with that. It say death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So death and life is in the power of my tongue and your tongue. Who could I just say it? Now, it depends on what we speak from our tongue. You can either speak life or you can speak death. Yes, Lord. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. That's the message today. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Now, you either speak life or you speak death. Do you agree with what I just said? Yes, Lord. And they that love it, you shall eat the fruit thereof. If you love what you're speaking, you shall eat the fruit of it. If it's life. But if it's death, you shall eat the fruit of it. So death and life are in the power of the tongue. In other words, we need to govern our tongue. We need to govern our mouth. We need to know when to speak and when not to speak and what to speak about. Oh, I agree with that. Thank you, you agree Lord. with it too. Make it so plain. Now watch this. Proverbs 6 and 2. By the time to it. You'd have to hear, you'd have to tune in. Foundation scripture is Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So you better be careful with your mouth, with your words. 
Because it had power. It had power. Power to save, power to heal, power to deliver, and then you vice versa, power to destroy, power to kill, and on and on. Because death and life is in the power of the tongue. And they that love it, you shall eat the fruit thereof. Now watch Proverbs 6 and 2. Thou Six. art snared with the words of thy mouth. See how you can be snared or thou can be capped it mm -hmm. with the words of your mouth. Read your Bible. Thou art taken with the words of thy and mouth. And thou art taken with the words of your mouth. Who mouth? My Every mouth. Every individual, your own mouth. My mouth. Your own mouth. Thou art snared with the words of thy mouth, and thou art taken with the words of your mouth. See, I can snare. See, I can cause us to be taken. You see how I can cause us to be lost and cause other people to be lost? Yeah. Foundation scripture. Proverbs what? 1821. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Thank you, Lord. Proverbs 6 and 2. Thou art snared. What about? With, with the words, the words of, of thy mouth, and thou art taken. That's your words. It's like it's my word. See, I can call myself to be snared. I can call myself to be taken. Likewise for you. Let's go to the book of James, third chapter. Let's go to James, the third chapter. Everybody. All right. James, the third chapter, verse 2. For in many things, for in many things, we offend all. We offend all. If any man offend not in words, if any person offend not in words, the same is a perfect the man. The same is a perfect, or we say mature person. Mm -hmm. If you're not offending words, don't let words offend you. What people say, and on and on. Read your Bible. And able to also and to able bridle also the whole to body. bridle the whole body. Look at that. If you don't be offending words. You're able to broaden your whole body. Keep your whole body in control. That way it won't get out of control. Because I'm making this plain. Amen. Foundation scripture is Proverbs 18 and 21. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. Yes, I'm right. Yes. Read your Bible. Verse 3. Behold. Say, behold or look. We put bits in the horse's mouth. We put mouth bits in the horse's mouth. That they may obey us. That they may obey us. And we turn about. And we turn about. Their whole body. Their whole body. See? They put bits in the horse's mouth. That the horse may obey them. Mm -hmm. And God don't want us to be like horses or like mule. Do we? Who could I just said that? Amen. Not at all. Verse 4. Behold. Say behold. Also the ships. Also the ship. Which though they be so great. Would it be so great or so big. And are driven of fierce winds. And they're driven of a fierce wind. Yet are they turned about. Yet are they turned about. With very small hymn. With a very small hymn. Whether so ever the governor listens. Whether so ever the governor listens. That little small hymn. How I turn that big old ship. Thank you Jesus. Now you take that hymn and point it at your tongue. Come on. That Thank is. You, See it? The way you direct your tongue. When you're ready to talk, what you're saying, and on and on. They can turn it in the right direction. Or if you don't direct your tongue right, you can turn it in the wrong direction. You see, if they turn that, that ship be turned in the wrong direction, disaster takes place. Now, the illustration, our tongue. See it? Disaster takes place. And what we said, come on, and how we said it, and on and on. See, a lot of things can be right what you said, but it's how you said it. Oh, I'm talking with sins. I wasn't born two hours ago. Glory to God. Verse 5. Even so. He said, even so. The tongue is a little member. See, the tongue is a little member. And boasts great things. And it boasts great things. Behold. Say, look. Behold how great a matter. How great a matter. A little fire a kindled. A little fire kindled. You know, we got an ETH on it. See, the tongue is a small member, isn't it? But what did James say? He had boasted what? Great, great things. things. Behold, come on, how great a matter a little Lord. fire kindled. Thank you, Jesus. Our Help tongue. Me, Lord. Help me, Jesus. That you got to govern it yes, at all times. Yes, Lord. Who did I just say that? Yes. 
at all times. That's why the writer say, let your words be true. Watch this here. Get me Ecclesiastes, everybody. The third chapter, verse 7. Ecclesiastes, the third chapter, verse 7. In the book of Ecclesiastes. Come on. A time to rent. See, it's a time to rent. And a time to sow. And a time to sow. A time to keep silent. See, there's a time that you need to keep silent. And a time to speak. And there's a time to speak. How I many of y'all see that? Yeah. See it? A time to keep silent and a time to speak. Now watch this here. James 1 and 19. James 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren. That's you and I that'll say. Wherefore, my beloved brother let and every sisters. Man, let, every man let every man be swift to hear. You need to be swift or fast to hear. Slow to speak. And slow to speak. Slow to wrath. And slow to wrath. Stop. Let's elaborate on that verse. Most of God's people is quick to speak and slow to hear. Do you know anybody like that? Do you know anybody like that? You do know somebody like that. You know who it is? It's you. Glory to God. That's who it is. James 1 and 19. Read it again. Wherefore, my beloved brethren. Wherefore, my beloved brethren. Let every man be swift to hear. See, say, let every person be swift to hear. Slow to speak. And slow to speak. Slow to wrath. And slow to wrath. Why? Verse 20. For the wrath of man. See, for the wrath of man. Working not the righteousness of God. It worketh not the righteousness of God. Not at all. Now, is it? When you're angry, you're upset, and you're mad, speaking out of turn, saying things you have no business, and on and on, you're not working on righteousness of God. No. You're working on righteousness. You're satisfying your flesh. How you feel, what you want to say, what you want to tell that person, you want to tell them all, and on and on. And then you say, I had to get what was in me out of me. <laughs> you say, I had to get it out of me. That ain't the way to get it out of you. No, help Lord. That ain't the way to get it out of you. The way to get it out of you is get yourself delivered from that. Amen. That's the way to get it out of you. Because you done did some damage. Amen. You remember back over in Proverbs 6 and 2 quoted. Thou art snared with, with the will of thy mouth, mouth, and thou art taken by the will of thy mouth. mouth. See it? Thank you, Jesus. That ain't the way to get it out of you, is it? No. You get it out of you by hearing the word of God, and you accept the word of God. It'll purge you, it'll clean you up. All right, now watch this. Back at James, the third chapter, verse 6. And the tongue is a fire. And the tongue is a fire. A world of iniquity. And it's a world of iniquity. So is the tongue so among is our the members. So is the tongue among our members. That it defileth the whole body. See, your tongue can defile your whole body. And set it on fire. And set it on fire. The course of nature. The course of nature. And it's set on fire. And it is hell. set on fire of hell. Look at that. Your tongue can cause you actually to go to hell. What James is saying that your tongue is just like hell. The thing that come out of our tongue from our mouth. Read the verse over again for those just tuned in. We in James 3 and 6. And the tongue is a fire. And the tongue is a fire. A world of iniquity. And it's a word of iniquity. So is the tongue. So is the tongue. Among our among members. Among our members. That it defile the whole that it body. That defileth the whole body. And set it on fire. And it set it on fire. The course of nature. The course of nature. And it set on fire. And it is hell. set on fire of hell. Thank so we better you. govern our tongue. Thank you. We better control our tongue. We better control our mouth. Yes. How many see that? Amen. Read your Bible, verse 7. For every kind of beast. See, for every kind of beast. And of birds. And of birds. And of serpents. And of serpents. And of things in the sea. And of things in the sea. Is tame. Is tame. And has been and tamed. And have been tamed. Of mankind. Of mankind. Now stop there. Elaborate on that verse, everybody. You that are here, you that are tuned in. Because if you don't get the revelation in verse 7, then you will throw off verse 8. You would actually throw it off. Now read seven over again. For every kind, For of, every beast, kind of beast and of birds and of birds and of serpents and of serpents and of things in the sea and of things in the sea is tame is tame and has been tamed and have been tamed of mankind of mankind. Y'all see that? Of mankind. Mankind have tamed snakes, birds, things in the sea, and on and on. Now you actually would miss verse eight. If you don't, pay attention to verse 7. Watch 8. Read it. 
But the tongue, but the tongue can no man can tame. no man tame. It is unruly evil. It is unruly evil. Now watch this. Full of deadly poison. And it's full of deadly poison. Now when he said in verse seven, he said, "Now beast has been tamed by mankind." He's saying that mankind can't tame your tongue, but you can tame your own tongue. You can tame your own tongue. Control your mouth. Control what you say. Because if you couldn't, you know what? That would be contrary right here to James 1 and 19. Read it again. 1 and 19. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, Wherefore, my beloved brethren let, every man let every person be swift to hear, swift to hear slow, to speak, slow to speak, slow to wrath, and slow to wrath. Y'all see that? You, you see what I just opened up? Open up? I didn't open up verse 7 until you would actually think that you couldn't tame your tongue. When you can, he was talking about beasts and animals and yes, birds. Thank you, Jesus. Been tamed by mankind. But I can control my own mouth. You can control your mouth. Know when to speak and when not to speak. Yes. Because that would be contrary to Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. Read it over again. Ecclesiastes 3 and 7. A time to rent. See, there's a time to rent. And a time to sow. And a time to sow. A time to keep silent. See, there's a time to keep silent. And a time to speak. And a time to speak. Isn't that, isn't that controlling? Isn't that taming? Yes, sir. That you know when to speak and when not to speak and what to speak about. Now, read 7, James 3 and 7 over again. For every kind of beast, see for every kind of beast, and a bird, and a bird, and of serpents, and of serpents, and of things in the sea, and of things in the sea, is tame, is tame, and has been, and tamed have been tamed, of mankind, of mankind. That's your revelation right there. See that another person can't tame your tongue, tame my tongue. You got to do it yourself. That's what James was saying. Verse eight. But the tongue, but the tongue, can no man tame. See that individual can't tame your tongue. It is on hold on, hold on, hold on, I just saw something. See, not in a video can't tell your tongue, say, stand up, <laughs> sit down. See it? Don't speak. Now speak. And on and on. Who have to do that? Who have I, to do that? I do. I do. See, that's why the Bible says, watch this. Proverbs 13, verse 1 through 3. Come on, Proverbs a, 13, chapter. A wise son. See, a wise son. Hear his father's instruction. You hear your father's instruction. But a scorner. But a scorner. Hear it not rebuke. Hear it not rebuke. A man shall eat good. See, a person shall eat good. By the fruit of his mouth. See that? By the fruit of your mouth. Now stop right there. The foundation scripture, Proverbs 18, 21. Death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. See it? A person shall eat good by what? The fruit of his mouth. The fruit of your mouth. Come on. But the soul of the transgressor. But the soul of the transgressor. Shall eat violence. Shall eat violence. He that keepeth his mouth. Right there, stop. Right there, you keeping your mouth. Are you keeping your tongue? Isn't you taming it? Isn't you controlling it? Yes. You that keepeth your mouth. Keep it his life. You keep it your life. But he that open wide and his lips. And he that lips open wide his lips. Shall have destruction. Shall have destruction. See? You can govern it. You can know when to speak, when not to speak, what to speak about. And speak wholesome things, the right thing, yes. not foul things, and on and on. Yes, I'm right. You can tame it, control it. God did not create us, but we couldn't control ourselves. No, he did. Now, did he? No. no. Not at all. See, that's one of the fruit of the Spirit, tempering. Yes. Watch this. Galatians, the fifth chapter, verse 22, 23. Everybody, you that are here, you that are tuning in. Galatians, the fifth chapter, verse 22, 23. In the book of Galatians. All right, verse 22. But the fruit of the Spirit. But the fruit, no, you know it's not an S on it. But the fruit of the Spirit. Is love. Is love. Joy, joy, peace, peace, long suffering, long suffering, gentleness, gentleness, goodness, goodness, faith, faith. Uh, Twenty-three. Read. Meekness, meekness, temperance, temperance. Against such, against such, there is no law. No law. Temperance. What is temperance? Thank you, Jesus. Self what is temperance? Self control. Self control. Self control. And everything. God don't want you out of control with your tongue. He wants you out of control with your mouth. Now do it. No. Self-control. Watch this. Finish reading, pastor. Go ahead, read. 
Meekness. No, no, no. You're going to go on. on to verse 24. I'm sorry. Come on. And they that are Christ. And they that are Christ. Have crucified the flesh. See, you got to put it to death. With the, with the affection. With the affection. And lust. And lust. If we live in the spirit. See, if we live in the spirit. Let us also walk in the spirit. Let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desired. And let us not be desired. A vain glory. A vain glory. Provoking one and another. Provoking one another. Envying one and another. And envying one another. Amen. Not at all. See it? When you got self control over yourself and all there. Yes. Because sir. now we are talking about the tongue. Thank you, Jesus. How dangerous the tongue is. The tongue is very dangerous. Some people, before be still alive, somebody with their tongue told a lie on them and caused them to lose their life. Glory to God. Who would I just say that? Thank you, Lord. Because they lied. Even the people with their tongue, they lied on Jesus. Because they paid them money to lie on him. And Jesus was just as young as he could be. See? Death in life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it, you shall eat the fruit thereof. Proverbs 18 and 21. Let's go back to James, the third chapter, verse 9. Therewith, therewith, bless we God, bless we God, even the Father, even the Father, and therewith, and therewith, curse we men, curse we men, which are made, which after, are the made after the similitude of, of God. Look at that. Let's elaborate on that. We can be on the floor jumping and shouting and praising the Lord. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Or we can be preaching and teaching or singing. Come on, and blessing God. And then turn around with the same mouth and curse somebody. It's not a different mouth. You ain't got no two mouths. You ain't got no two tongues. The same mouth. See? We were made after the symmetry of God. Read verse 9 over again. Therewith bless we there God. Therewith bless we God. Even the Father. Even the Father. And therewith curse and we men. And therewith curse we men. Which are made after which the Which is made after the symmetry of God. Shouldn't be. Should it? When you read verse 10. Out of the same mouth. See, I told you, not a different mouth. Thank you, Jesus. Out of the same mouth. Proceed blessing. Proceed blessing. And cursing. And cursing. My brethren. My brethren. These things ought these not to be These things ought not to be. Now, should it? Should it be with us? No. Not at all. Thank you, Jesus. Govern your mouth. Govern your tongue. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Govern what you're saying. Yes, and Lord. on and on. Thank you, Jesus. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Yes, and they that love it, you shall eat the fruit thereof. And God mean that. He's not going to change his word for nobody. Is he? Watch this. Let's go to Psalms 39. Verse 1 through 3. Thank you, Lord. Psalm 39. Follow me in the book. Verse 1. Psalm 39. I said I would take heed to my ways. See what the sample said? He said, I said I would take heed to what? My ways. Now, you put yourself there. You say that you need to take heed to your ways. David's off the scene. David done made it. He said, I said, I take heed to my ways. That I sin not with my tongue. See how your tongue can cause you to sin? Not letting your words be true. Not governing your tongue, controlling your tongue. He said that I sin not with my tongue. I will keep my mouth with he a said, bridle. He said, now, see that? Look at that. Isn't that governing? Yes. Isn't that controlling it? Yes. I will keep my mouth with a bridle. While the wicked is before me. He said, me. while the wicked is before me. Come on. I was dumb with he silence. He said, I was dumb with silence. I held my peace. He said, I held my peace. Even from good. Even from good. And my sorrow and was my stirred. Sor my sorrow was stirred. My heart was hot within me. He said, me. my heart was hot within me. While I was musing. While I was musing. The fire burned. The fire was burning inside of him, he said. It was burning. Mm. Try to get yeah. him to speak out, to get him to say yes. something. That's what he's saying. Yes. But he held his peace even from good. Yes, Lord. Yes. Even when you know you're right, God wants you to be quiet. But you'll speak out anyway because you're not governing your tongue. You're not controlling yourself. See, the word's so plain, isn't it? Yes. And the way I open it up, you see this. Yes. They see this. It's so plain. That death and life is in the power of the tongue. Now, I'm going to show you what you do when you open your mouth when you shouldn't be opening your mouth. Proverbs 11, verse 8 and 9. Follow me in the book. Proverbs 11, chapter, verse 8 and 9. The righteous is delivered out of trouble. See, the righteous is delivered out of trouble. And the wicked coming in his stead. See, look at that. If you learn how to keep your mouth, keep your lip, 
Be still and know he's God. He'll fight your battle. He'll turn that thing around. The ditch they dig for you, they'll fall in their cell. You don't hurt enough. All right. Come on, pals. Every word of God is true. We need to take heed to this. And you that are not saved, this is your day to be saved. Thank you, Jesus. To give your life to Jesus Christ. He loved you. He died for you. And I know you've been running your mouth too. You're not saved and talking about this, talking about that, talking about people, lying on people, and on and on. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Thank now you, I want you to use your mouth and repeat after us Thank and ask the Lord. Lord to forgive you and you ask the Lord to save you. Use your mouth for that. Yes, As we Lord. get ready Thank to take you, you through the center prayer and you confess that you're a sinner. Repeat after us. Say, Lord, Lord, I acknowledge, I acknowledge I'm a sinner. that I'm a sinner. And I have been living wrong. And I have been living wrong. And what apostle, and what apostle Robinson, Robinson have spoke today. Has spoke today. He was talking to me. He was talking to me. And I'm asking you, and I'm asking you to forgive me. To forgive me. And save me. And save me. And wash me with your blood. And wash me with your blood. Now let me say this to you. Thank you, Jesus. If you meant that, yes, Lord. The Lord did exactly that. When you confess and ask the Lord to save you, he did exactly that. Now, you need to follow up on this. He directs you this way, you obey the Spirit of the Lord. But wherever he directs you, you get there because you need to get up on the leadership. Yes, You've Lord. got to be taught after you get saved how to get cleaned up from your way, from your attitude, and on and on. Thank the you, Lord, Jesus. I love you now, and you need to follow up on it because a lot of you just got saved. Thank All you, right. Jesus. All the rest of you, congregation, stand. Thank you, congregation, Jesus. Stand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Every word of God is true, isn't it? Amen. Every word of God is true, what I have mentioned today. And God not willing that any should pay, but all come to repentance. You've been having a mild problem, over talking, saying things that you shouldn't be saying, and shouldn't be saying, and on and on what you need to do. You need to repent. repent. That's what Thank you need you to do. Jesus. Repent. Ask God to forgive you. That's what you need to do. You need to repent. Repent. Ask God to forgive you. Thank you, Jesus. Because your tongue can cause you to lose out. You've got to control your words. I've gone on through the book and show it to you. And the Lord love you now. Not willing that any should perish. All right, with uplifted hand towards heaven to the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Now make confession unto God as pastor pray for you. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Father, we come in the name of Jesus yes. today. We thank you for your holy word today. Thank you, Lord. Lord, we know that your word fell on good ground. Jesus. We ask you to bless every hearer of the bless word God. today, God. Let them receive it with thanksgiving, Lord. Yes. Let them, Lord, see themselves in the word of God oh, today. God. Lord, that your word will make them clean if they accept it, God. Right. Let them feel godly sorry for the things that they have been saying and the way that they have been acting. Jesus. And ask you to forgive them, Lord. And you as faithful and just to come in and forgive them for everything they ever said and done. And wash them in yes, your blood, do God. It. Make them clean and make them whole. Free them, God. Deliver them. In Jesus' mighty name yes. we pray. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Thank Praise you, God. Jesus. Come on, give God a holy hand. Hallelujah. Thank give you, God a holy hand. Thank May the Lord Jesus. keep you. May the Lord face shine up on yes, you. Lord. Come on, Thank give you, him Jesus. a holy hand. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Word to be praised above glory all things. To, to God. God. Be the glory. Be the glory. Say to God. To God. Be the glory. Be the glory. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah.